Continuing to fill questions for you, Samili, I have a student asking, when should he or she start UWorld? Should you read before you start UWorld, okay? Or should you just dive into the questions? And then also the student just wants to know, uh, should he or she do offline UWorld or the online UWorld because it seems expensive? So I'll give you a very quick and consolidated answer here. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links the Telegram group and channel down below and start the clip. So the student wants to know about uh, starting UWorld. Should you read, build your foundation a bit before you commence QBank, or should you just dive straight into questions? And what about the offline versus online component? Well, my response is, and I've made prior clips discussing this, is I want you, yes, diving straight into QBank. For step one, it's a pass-fail exam. So you really need to not worry about any specific score clearly but you're gonna get through all you world just dive into it yes get through the qbank it's extremely lengthy and then you're gonna do all the nbme content okay 20 through 30 as well as uh free 120 for 2ck yes you're gonna do all you world i want you just diving into it and then you're gonna do all the clinical master series forms nbme 6 through 8 free 120 a double pass the cms forms you do on online nbme's 9 through 12 and if there's going to be variation depending on those of you who are studying for 2ck while you're on shelves we're going to be doing things in a more subject-specific fashion, OBS guide, pediatrics, et cetera. Or those of you who are already post-grad, and you can do things very linear, as I just uh, mentioned a moment ago. So uh, in terms of uh, starting UWorld, yes, just dive into it. Now, the student asked quickly about offline versus online. I mean, it would be rather audacious, okay? It would, it would be quite audacious for me to openly say that you should not pay for something that clearly at least it clearly is supposed to be paid for okay and just in my view though ra rather than the politically correct nonsense is it's in my view that online new world just in general is more valuable because you're paying for the interface yes you could theoretically find the questions offline okay this is 2022 no one's blind to the fact that you can find information for free. But what you're paying for, essentially, that's expensive, is you're paying for the interface. You're paying, you're paying for the clarity of the interface, the organization. You're paying for them to organize all of your tests. Everything's dated. Uh, all your scores are graphed. You can, you can chart your progress. So once again, rather fucking audacious to even a pine in the slightest that you shouldn't pay for something that is supposed to be paid for. But in truth, if we cut out all the BS, you're paying for the interface. You're paying for that organization and the clarity, uh, the peace of mind of everything just well contained, uh, no confusion and chaos of trying to do it offline. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.